Hey everybody, welcome to the Lap of Luxury. So today, we're going to have a look into the loves of some of the richest property developers globally. Some of these guys have an empire that could be fit for kings, so I can assure you that it will be an amazing video. Make sure to watch until the end, so you can see who are the top three richest property developers are in the world. Make sure to subscribe so you can watch more videos like this one, so without further ado, let's get straight into the video. At number 10, we have Li Hua, Chinese-born property developer. Started his property development company known as Excellent Real Estate in 1996 and currently having a net worth of $11 billion. Li Hua's company Excellence Real Estate had quickly risen to the top as one of China's biggest landlords in the city Shenzhen's over the past five years, as the commercial hub invested billions in building a financial center across the country. Outbidding his rivals in 2014 is when the Excellence Group rose to fame as they acquired properties in China's capital Shenzhen and through this strategic move rose to make billions. Moving from one milestone to another, Li Hua, chairman of Excellence, then moved on to expanding the business to 100 projects, costing billions in 36 different cities in China. At number 9, we have the Chinese billionaire Joseph Law, Lun Hung and family. Being worth an estimated $14 million and being the former chairman of company Chinese Estates, his property development journey started in 1986. Born in 1951, the Hong Kong billionaire with a younger brother and two younger sisters, Mr. Law studied in Canada and joined his family business in 1974 of making electric fans. He was not new to business and after a successful run with the family business, he moved his business acumen to property development and changing the company name in 1986 to Chinese Estates. After being convicted in 2014 for bribery and money laundering, Mr. Law resigned in 2014 and made his sister-in-law the chief executive. Mr. Law developed the Tald Retail Complex in Hong Kong and generously gifted the building to his wife and kids. With most of his properties being in Hong Kong, Joseph Law, also known to be a famous art collector with a collection worth over a billion dollars. At number 8, we have the US-based billionaire Donald Bren, worth a staggering $15 billion and owning the company Irvine Company. Born in 1932, the American businessman father was a movie producer and mother was a civic leader. Having graduated from the University of Washington and even serving in the Marine Corps, Mr. Bren acquired his first property in Newport Beach with a $10,000 loan in 1958. In 1963, built homes in Orange County, California, and at this time purchased 10,000 acres of land in California for a huge project to build homes, buildings, and retail space. Irvine Company is estimated to own 120 million square feet of real estate, and most of this being in Southern California. The company owns several hotels, marina, golf courses, 550 office buildings, 125 apartment complexes, and more than 40 shopping centers. It is said that Orange County in California looks like Orange County because of Donald Bren. At number 7, we have Hugh Grosvenor, who is known as the 7th Duke of Westminster, London. Born in 1991, the Duke inherited 9.5 billion in 1996, which his family owned since 1677. Hugh Grosvenor was known as the youngest billionaire under 30 at the time of the inheritance. As we all know that West London is the most priciest location in the world, and the Grosvenor family owned 50% of Mayfair, including the American Embassy, Beaumont Hotel, and Gagosian Gallery. They own 300 acres also in Belgravia, which is connected to Hyde Park, where you can find Buckingham Palace. Hugh Grosvenor is also the godfather to Prince George, son of Prince William, the next in line to be King of England. So the connections between the monarch and Grosvenor are deeply rooted. It is estimated that they own 0.22% of the United Kingdom, a residential tower in Tokyo, a large chunk of Silicon Valley, and all of Anassas Island near Vancouver, and over 1,500 properties in 60 countries. At number 6, we have Wu Yajun and family, who are worth a staggering $17 billion. Born in 1964, she was once the world's richest self-made woman, co-founder, chairman, and CEO of Long Four Properties. Being proclaimed as a humble businesswoman, she started her career working in a factory, then journalist and newspaper editor, before striking at gold with property in the 1990s. Following on with the wealth she later invested in Uber and Evernote, in 1995, she started her property development journey with her husband with an investment of 10 million yuan, which would be equivalent to $2 million or more at the time. 
With this investment, she built her empire all over China. In 2012, she was known as the richest woman in China and fifth richest around the world. This title was later taken from her due to her divorce with her husband, and she became the third richest in China and 299th around the world. At number five, we have Wang Zhanlin and family worth a whopping $17 billion. The Chinese-born tycoon was born in 1954 and founder of Dalian Wanda Group, China's largest real estate development company. Not only that, but his company owns the largest movie theater operator in the world, the AMC Theater. Mr. Zhang Lin is a true life rags to riches story as his father was a peasant freedom fighter. His mother and father brought him and his four younger brothers to a village. He joined the army at 15, lying about his age, and became commander at 27. After 17 years in the army, he returned home and worked as an office administrator. In 1988, he took a loan of $80,000 and took over a small property developer, and today his company owns 21.57 million square meters of investment property. And his company owns 168 Wanda shopping plazas, 82 luxury hotels, 213 cinemas, 99 department stores, and 54 karaoke centers around China. At number four, we have Peter Wu Kuang Ching and family. Born in 1946, the Hong Kong billionaire is worth $18 billion and owns the company Wheelock and Company Limited. His main properties include Times Square and Harbor City in Hong Kong. Harbor City being the largest shopping center slash business center slash luxury hotels slash much more acquiring over 8.4 million square feet. It is known that Mr. Wu has his fingers in many pies, which has resulted in his huge wealth and some of this include owning a telecoms company, luxury hotels, and owning the fashion retailer Lane Crawford. At number three, we have Yang Huyan and family. Born in 1981, she was born a billionaire as her father passed it down to her in 2007, currently worth a staggering $18.4 billion. It is sad to say that in the 2022 recession in China, Miss Huyan lost half of her wealth, otherwise she was worth almost $28 million. Having studied in Ohio University, Miss Huyan is currently the richest female in China as her father started up the company Country Garden and gave her a 57% shareholder in 2007 before going on the Hong Kong Stock Exchange the same year. Country Garden owns more than 200 Highland Township developments in China, Malaysia, and Australia as part of the international portfolio. The company was started by her father, Yang Kuo-Kiang, who started from scratch as he was a farmer and also worked on construction sites. At number two, we have Lee Shaw Ki, being the founder of Henderson Landa and being the third largest property developer in Hong Kong. Lee Shaw Ki is worth a staggering $27 billion. Born in China in 1928, Mr. Shaw Ki was a business tycoon, investor, and philanthropist setting his foothold in Hong Kong. He is known for projects in the Beverly Hills in Hong Kong, also known as Happy Bills, where the mega-rich Chinese billionaires live and has 10 37-story buildings in the high-end location. His company started off with property development and is hugely successful for it, but he also has a vast investment portfolio of hotels, restaurants, and internet services. And to round it all off, at the number one spot of the richest property developers in the world is the Li ka Shing and family. Having a wealth of $33 billion with his company Chung Kong, he beats the competitors as the mastermind of investment and property development. Born in 1928, Mr. Ka Shing migrated to Hong Kong in 1940 with his family and took up full-time work after his dad passed. He worked 16-hour days in a plastic factory and in 1950 opened his own plastic manufacturing company, which paved his way into real estate property development. The Chung Kong Group is one of the largest developers of residential, office, retail, industrial, and hotel properties in Hong Kong. It is said that one in 12 private buildings in Hong Kong is developed by his company. He is heavily invested internationally, including the largest shareholder in the fifth largest bank in Canada and the largest shareholder in an energy company in Canada. He later sold his shares and the proceeds go to a private foundation which is owned by himself. He also owns the largest health and beauty retailer in Asia. Having all this wealth, Li ka Shing is known not to be flashy and wears standard price suits and wears an inexpensive Seiko wristwatch. If you like this video, then check out this video, The Billionaire Lifestyle with Billionaire Toys, where you will see what the ultra-rich do in their spare time and with their wealth. Don't forget to subscribe so you can watch more videos like these 
on the best of luxury.